My name is Leonard Anderson. I'm the general contractor on this job. I'm also a consultant for EcoSteel. This particular project is a EcoSteel two-bedroom ADU. It is a guest house on this particular project. The owner has a rather large office in his residence and he has engineers that come and stay occasionally for a week or 10 days on a particular project. And so this guest house is being erected on this site as a place for those guest engineers to stay. It's a fairly simple two bedroom complex complete with a kitchen, ensuite bathrooms, etc. The first thing we did, we measured the slab to make sure that the concrete was poured correctly. And then we laid out the base track where it needed to go, eliminating the pieces where there were doorways or framed openings that went all the way to the slab. Once we got all the base track down, we went around and laid out all the windows, the jams for the doors, all the framed opening jams, we laid all those out. And then we went back and started doing the infill with the studs. We compared all the pieces and parts that are required on the plans to identify all them. There's many boxes of clips and parts that are needed different locations. So we made sure that the installers knew what all those different pieces and parts were. There are different gauges, different lengths of material, and the different lengths go in different places so you don't want to cut something and then run out of material. The crew works together and they work in sequence to make sure that all the structure goes up, it's all braced so that it, it doesn't fall down. All the lines are set with string lines and lasers to make sure that the building remains square and plumb as we go higher with the structure. It's basically just a giant puzzle and you just have to identify it and put the right pieces in the right sequence. It's not all that difficult if you can read and make sure you understand how all the pieces go together and how they work together as, as a unit.